Well, I feel like I figured out a use for this little function on the camera here. I wasn't real sure what the deal was with this, but I kind of like it. You know, this would be great for reaction videos, of course, something I'm into. Today, though, however, we're talking jam bands. Easter Sunday, headed home, just caught a little bit of widespread panic and some string cheese, and it got me thinking, like, man, these are some grizzled vets right there. But I don't know if they still got the fire in the belly that Humphreys McGee and Mo have. Of course, you got fish at this point. Legit legends, Grateful Dead, started it all. Check out them elk over there, dude. Got a certified elk farm right here in Tip City. Best meat in town. Kind of makes me sad, though, you know? You don't see a lot of elk around here. They're kind of a cool animal. And then you see a sign, elk meat sold out. Anyhow, so like I'm saying, obviously you can make your arguments, but the Grateful Dead started this whole thing. They are the jam band. Then Fish comes along. They kept it going. When Jerry died, the term jam band could have died with him. Betray and the boys... They kept the spirit alive, mixing it up at shows, improv, all this good stuff, you know, just wild antics, playing off the beaten path cities, amphitheaters, small venues, big venues, festivals. So Panic and Cheese, they're, they're good at this. At this point, they're pros, they're well-oiled machines, but I don't know. I just don't know if they jam. Their concerts are kind of standard. They don't have the jam band feel to them. Humphreys, however, a band I just don't like their style, I don't like their sound, but there is something to be said about their relentless touring, the non, like, methodical, whatever you want to call it, to their shows, you know, they just kind of, you still don't know what's going to happen at an Humphreys show, man, that's why I go, same thing with Mo. you never know what's going to happen at a Mo show, they don't really say that about Panic anymore, you pretty much know what's going to happen at a Panic show pretty much know what's going to happen at a Psy show. Now, every now and then, Fish falls into that, but then they'll let loose, like Halloween in Vegas or Meriwether Post Pavilion last year. They'll hit you with the bop gun occasionally. All right, that's, that's when it's time to wrap it up. When you start saying things like hit you with the bop gun, you know, you've got nothing to say. So that's it. I wonder how this new little deal's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting a little dangerous here. Taking turns at 60. All right. Kind of like this, you know? It's like you see the road and you see F Zappa 20. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to stop before I kill myself or others.